Oh, yeah. Hi, it's Tuesday. Watch your Tasty Tuesday show where it's Tuesday. I try to make some tasty. Sometimes it works. I have been like completely obsessed. Cannot stop eating these from Trader Joe's. These coffee mochi with a saucy mocha center. And it sure is saucy. It gets very saucy every time I don't purchase it. So I have to keep buying them. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why I have to keep buying them. I don't want my mochi mad at me. During all of the consumption of these coffee mochis, which I have consumed quite a lot of them, at no point did I ever think maybe I could make this but I did a Google search and turns out I can well maybe maybe I can some people can anyway it's possible for humans to do it but yeah after spending ridiculous amounts of money continuously purchasing this item I was like can I make that maybe I should try so that's what we're doing today I found a recipe I don't know if it's easy she makes it sound really easy but I don't believe this bitch okay sorry you're not a bitch I'm so sorry you're really nice let's make this dish step one okay we're gonna have to work fast with this because it is a heat wave outside and you know kind of in here in the recipe it says to keep your kitchen very cold like I have a choice lady that does mochi really well in her recipe shout out to whoever gave me these silicone cupcake cups one of you out there sent these to me thank you so much for that I haven't gotten to use them yet but we're gonna put them out into our cupcake tin it's gonna be really good for not sticking to our ice cream thank god you got me this too because the recipe called for this and I didn't even know you needed Next, you're gonna need a small ice cream scoop. This is like more for cookie dough and this is gonna work perfectly for what we're doing. Small ice cream scoop, we're gonna scoop. Let's see, there's three rows of four, four rows of three, there's four ice cream flavors. We're gonna do three mochi of each. Hey, math, you like it. We like math here. And I'm just gonna, hey B-roll, are you getting this? We need to work fast. And I'm just gonna scoop a little bit into the center. The recipe says to make sure you're getting that half sphere shape. So don't like be balling up your ice cream, okay? No ballers over here. Stay, be humble. Stay down. Chocolate, you up next. Oh no, there's still vanilla left in my scooper. It's more like Neapolitan now. Has anyone ever made a Neapolitan mochi? Go work fast, guys. What are you doing? Stop taking so long. Caramel coffee fudge. Ooh, actually, I should do strawberry right now, so it would be really Neapolitan, maybe. Get your ice in there. Oh no, got on my rug. I'm one of those coaches that like tears you down to build you up, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's some real strawberries. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Okay, I approve of you. All right, coffee, yes, time. Every parent has their favorite. Coffee, I'm looking at you. Did it! All right, look at our beautiful flavors. Oh my gosh, we have so many beautiful flavors. This is coffee, caramel. This is strawberry, this is chocolate and vanilla. You probably already know these three. This one though. This one's my star quarterback right here. Okay, so these have to be frozen, frozen, frozen solid. So we're gonna put them in the freezer for a couple hours. I didn't read that part when I first read the recipe. I thought I could do all this before I had to go on to my next thing that I'm doing today. But no, y'all gotta be frozen solid in a heat wave. Cleared out my freezer for them, don't worry. It's all Gucci, baby. That's what people are saying now. Okay, so I guess we wait a couple hours. Not my favorite thing to do. Waiting's not my forte, but I, I will do it. I'll do it for the Tuesday. See you in a couple hours. Hopefully I still look this pretty. <laughs> All right, we're back. It's been many, 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 many hours, but you probably couldn't tell, right? Because I still look super fresh and super awesome and like so pretty. Anyway, I think our ice cream balls are frozen solid. Hopefully, let's just check. You know, I really can't tell the difference. Ice cream feels like ice cream. I still waited many, many, many hours. So hopefully that made a big difference. So now we can get started making our mochi part of our mochi ice cream. And that is the glutinous rice flour mixture part. I have never I've never worked with goodness rice flour before. How are you? Do you like me at least? In a medium bowl, we are gonna take one fourth cup sugar and three fourths cup glutinous rice flour. Flour, I hardly know her. <laughs> it's all mochi. Oh my God, why? Just immediately spill on your counter when you're doing this. Make sure you don't forget that part if you want your mochi to be Gucci. We're gonna whisk those two ingredients. Okay, I think that's good. I don't really know what's good. It looks the same to me, but I think it's good. We did it a long time. So next we're gonna add three fourths cup of water. Do it. Water, I hardly know where. <laughs> I wanna make sure to get it as exact as possible. I don't wanna fuck up this 
mochino thing. Okay, give it a good old whisk and stir. Oh shoot, you know what I just realized? We're putting this in the microwave. So maybe we should have picked a microwave safe bowl. You know, maybe if we didn't love doing dishes so much, we would have thought about that. Microwave safe, pour it in that. Are you still whisked or do you need some more because you're in a new environment? Next, we're gonna take some plastic wrap and we are going to put this lightly over our bowl, not too tight, okay? Loose. Chill, everybody chill. It's all Gucci. Next, we're gonna put this into the microwave for 30 seconds. It says to make sure your microwave is on power wattage 1200. I don't know how to change this microwave. We're gonna have to work with what we got. One minute, boom. So we're gonna take this out. Start with a wet rubber spatula. So excuse us, get wet. <laughs> it's hot in here. Oh, it's getting glutinous. We're gonna cover and then put back in the microwave for one more minute, boom. Ooh, thank you. All right, now we're gonna stir it. Ooh, it's so Gucci. I'm now at that age for when like you pick up a word that all the kids are saying, it's like no longer cool because now you're saying it. You're welcome. I kill Gucci. Okay, that seems stirred. Now it says to cover and put in for 30 more seconds. Wow. So now it should be finished cooking and our mochi mixture should have gone from white to almost translucent. And it did, whoa, that looks so good. I think this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. And I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, which means I'm really proud of me too. Look, look, this light makes everything look super white, but it looks almost translucent. It looks like the color of my teeth. See? Same these. This gotta cool down. Oh my god, it's hot, but it tastes like mochi. Oh my god, it tastes dark like mochi, but hot. Hot mochi, coming through. <laughs> That's my new stripper name, hot mochi. You want a lap dance or, or not? Nah? That looked wrong. Next, while we're waiting for that to cool, we're gonna take some parchment paper and we're gonna put it over here. I mean, you know, or wherever you are making it. Maybe not over here, because you don't know where this is. Top secret location. Now we're gonna take some potato starch, or you can use cornstarch, and we're gonna generously sprinkle it all over this parchment paper. Oh wow, I'm so generous. <laughs> that was very generous. Oh no, okay. Can I just do this with my hand? Oh my god, I feel like this isn't doing anything. This is not spreading how I thought. It doesn't spread like flour. It's it spreads. Ooh, it feels weird. Ew, it's we well, don't get on me. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna use this thing because I like never use it. Yeah. Okay, this is like a sifter thingy. Boom, bitches. Didn't see it coming. Oh my gosh, that's so. That's so much. Okay, I fucked up. That's very generous though. That's too generous. <laughs> Way too generous. I don't know anymore. I'm doing over. <laughs> I don't like it. You feel really cool though. It's kind of addicting to touch. Put you into there. Do it over. Oh my god. I mean, it's a big pile. I'm gonna put some back in the bag. Why is this part so hard? Okay, it says to make sure there's enough potato starch on your hands to work with. You know what? No problem. Then we're gonna transfer the cooked mochi onto our surface here. Oh, it's very hot still. So. Maybe we use a spatula, you know? I like the way it tastes. Okay, don't judge me. Now it says to let this cool down a little bit more. Cool down more. Chill, bro. Once it's cooled down a little bit. We're going to take a rolling pin. Make sure this is covered in potato starch. Starch it up, daddy. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Or you don't, cause that's, it's weird. It's real weird and I don't blame you. Now we're gonna roll out this mochi till it's kind of thin. Thin rolls, come on. Kini season, get thin. Not that you need to be thin. Everybody's beautiful, love your body, hashtag. I don't feel like this is enough for all the ice creams that we rolled out. This is kind of like if cookie dough and slime made a baby. Okay, that's good I think. I think we did a good job. High five yourself. Oh. Now we're gonna take a baking sheet and we're gonna put this on there. Okay. Wow. Did it. Now we're gonna put this in the fridge for 15 minutes to cool even more. See you in 15 minutes. Hi, it's been about 15 minutes. Do you love me yet? Are we there? Are we ready? Do you want to move in? I think this is off to a good start for us. So now we're gonna take like a round cookie cutter or the top of something that's round and we're gonna make some round cookie shapes. These are gonna be our mochi wrappers. What a cool crew. Hopefully I rolled these thin enough. Thin for the summer, baby, come on. Try to get at least seven, maybe eight. Nope, we're not gonna make eight. But if you can do it, peace be with you. So now, I was able to get seven. Cool, not quite eight. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our plastic wrap and we're gonna put it on a plate. Then we're gonna put one of our mochi wrappers down onto the plastic. Wow, this is hard to pick up. Yes, 
bitch. You're not a bitch, I'm so sorry. Then we're gonna layer another layer of plastic on top of that mochi. And then we're gonna take a mochi wrapper and put it on the plastic. And we're just gonna keep layering it like that until all of the mochi wrappers are set. I'm gonna try to make my plastic wraps small as possible. Another thing we're supposed to be doing that I forgot we were supposed to be doing is with each of our mochi wrappers, dusting the potato starch off with a pastry brush. Like this? This doesn't seem right. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. We're done. I'm sorry. We're done. I feel like an archaeologist. <laughs> Look at these mochi fossils I found. Once we have all of our mochi wrappers dusted off and over plastic wrap, we're gonna take what's left over of our mochi wrapper dough and we're gonna dough it over. We're gonna see how many we can get. Hopefully at least 12, because that's how many ice creams we have. Make sure it's nice and starchy down here. Starchy rolling pin. Okay, our mochi wrappers are all set now. We, I was able to get 13 out of the mixture. So we got one chance to make a mistake. And then after that, no chances. Now this is the hard part. Our little ice cream balls are all frozen solid. They're looking pretty tough. We're gonna go one ice cream at a time when we're doing this because we don't want them to melt on us. So I'm gonna take one silicone cup out at a time and we're gonna like wrap these. I'll tell you what to do next. Hold on one second. Just chill, okay? Just chill. Recipe says to wear some thin latex gloves for this part because you're gonna be handling some cold, cold ice cream. This bitch is cold. Hey, I'm so sorry, I'm not a bitch. We're gonna take a mochi wrapper. We're gonna take an ice cream ball. We're gonna take the ice cream ball and put it into the center of the mochi wrapper. We're gonna wrap the corners of the mochi wrapper around the ice cream ball. We must work fast for this part. Come on, get it together. Once it's all up there like that, we're gonna take the plastic wrap and we're gonna, ooh, ooh, come on, no. No, listen to me. We're gonna twist it all up so that the wrapper gets completely sealed. I think that's pretty good. We put it back in the silicone cup and we put it back into the freezer. Okay, next. Ooh, I'm doing a strawberry one next. Same thing, same thing. The edges of the mochi wrapper want to completely fall on you, but you can't let them. They don't know any better. You have to say, hey, get it together, literally. And then we twist it. Yeah, cute. And we put it back in the freezer. And then we're just gonna keep doing this until they're all completely done. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Hopefully we wrap it up. <laughs> Cause wrap it up. Okay, look at that beautiful mess. All of our mochi balls are twisted and we're gonna put them in the back of the freezer for a few more hours. Pretty much I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully I still look this cute. Hopefully everything will be Gucci tomorrow. Hello, good afternoon. It's a new day. A little mochi ice cream should be finished now. I took one of each flavor out of the freezer and the recipe says that they need to thaw out for about 15 minutes before serving. They are rock solid. Hopefully 15 minutes will give them the necessary amount of time. Before they went in the freezer, I don't see how they couldn't be tasty. They, if you like mochi ice cream, I just wanna see how close to the store-bought mochi ice cream they end up tasting. So, wow, that sounded really cocky. I'm like, I know they're tasty. I just wanna make sure that they're like the store. I don't know if they're tasty. I just think they would be. I have high hopes. Maybe I jinxed it. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. Well, we'll find out in 15 minutes. What I realized about ice cream recipes is you have to be extremely patient as a person. A lot of waiting. This video will probably come out a week later than I anticipated and I'm, I am, I'm sorry, I guess. I'm sorry. I want it to be good though. I want to know the actual result. I don't want to be hasty. I want it to be tasty. <laughs> Are you still here? Well, okay, we're back. Um, it's been, I think, longer than 15 minutes. Don't make me wait 15 minutes. 15 minutes is just the amount of time where I will forget about you. Make me wait 10 minutes, make me wait 30 minutes. But 15, I will forget about you. You're not relevant in my life anymore. So we gotta taste these quick. They are melting, they look phenomenal. Well, I mean, they don't look phenomenal, but they like feel like mochi. They feel like mochi ice creams. Maybe they're not exactly the right symmetrical shape. Okay, maybe we cannot body shame our mochis, all right? They're just trying to do a good job. Why don't you like them? Please like them. I'm gonna have the Tasty Tuesday man come out here and taste them with me, and we'll see if we made some mochis taste like store-bought mochis. Yeah. Okay, I cut new ones because I wanted to see if these could actually compete and I felt like the other ones were too melty to make a direct comparison. So these are fresh. I didn't forget about them. I have a variety of flavors for you to try. This is Trader Joe's. I don't know how they made it without having any seams like this, but uh, these are Trader Nicky's. Right. And you tell me which ones you like better. Ooh, going for the coffee one. Not a guy that normally goes for coffee. Oh, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it tasty? Yeah. Hell yeah! 
tasty. I want that one too. That's hella bomb. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I think that that Ben and Jerry's flavor is better than that flavor. Yeah. So good. It does taste like mochi ice cream. We did it. It tastes exactly like it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm gonna try strawberry. Oh, cold, babe. <laughs> Holy cow, that's cold. That's very good. Hell yeah. Is that dough? What is the mochi thing? It's glutinous rice flour. Why do they do it? It's, I don't know, it's an Asian dessert. Huh. They put rice on everything. They're so good though. That's good. I've been eating these since I was in high school, but I recently got addicted to these coffee ones. So this is a store-bought one. Yeah, okay. Oh man, I don't like that. You don't like it? Oh my God, I'm addicted to these. Oh, it's too coffee flavor for you. <laughs> I guess Trader Nicky wins. It tastes like black coffee, man. I love coffee. Oh, nah, bud. You like Trader Nicky's? Trader though. Nicky's, hell, hell yeah. What is a feng shui consultant's favorite dessert? I don't want to know. Mochi. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. You would have to know. Okay. It's that cool. is so Subscribe stupid. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm outraged by that.